uh, we always wonder what uh, equity loans are uh, all about so let's uh, look at uh, this term in a very basic way so suppose if we have a house and the house uh, is uh, worth hundred thousand dollars so it's 100k and uh, we have a loan uh, of around uh, 80k and uh, we made uh, a payment of uh, 20k to buy this house so in this case uh, 20k is our investment and 80k is more of a liability and your total assets is 100k and now suppose the home prices increases and now it becomes uh, 150k so in that case so now uh, the price uh, increase so 150k and uh, the loan will remain same uh, because suppose uh, it happened very quickly and you are still uh, in the process of uh, uh, making the payments and you haven't uh, done much of the you haven't uh, paid much of the loan and uh, the equity would have uh, uh, increased in that case uh, to 70k so now uh, you can see that uh, although your investment was only twenty thousand dollars and uh, the market only increased by uh, 50 percent however your assets have increased much more than 50 percent and it's uh, almost like if you uh, do the calculation uh, it's 350 percent so if you take a loan then that will help leverage your gain from the market so uh, in that case the home equity will be this 70k so why this number is important uh, because suppose uh, now uh, at this stage suppose uh, you uh, lose your job or you don't have uh, um, payments to further pay for the mortgage then what will happen is that the bank can sell this house and if it sells this house or you can sell the house then you only have to pay uh, 80k to bank and you will get a cash of 70k and that is your home equity and uh, this 70k is considered as a cash if you assume that the house can be sold uh, at the price uh, which we are talking about here so instead of doing that what you can also do is you can go to a bank so you go to the bank and say that i want some personal loan so you take a personal loan on the home equity and you can uh, get uh, the loan of uh, suppose uh, because in the beginning you started with a 20 percent down payment so if you still consider 20 percent down uh, then the 20 percent of 150 will be around 30k so you can at least get around 40k loan uh, on this uh, home equity and this home equity you can put it back uh, into another house and if you put it back into another house you can uh, again buy a $150, uh, $150,000 house and you can pay $30,000 $30, uh, as the payment and you can take the uh, uh, rest of the loan of 120k. So in that case, you can uh, own two houses and uh, you only started with 20k but from that you build some home equity from a home equity you take a personal loan from personal loan you buy another house and uh, then uh, you got uh, 120k loan and now your total uh, investment uh, in this case uh, uh, will be still 20k because you paid 20k in the beginning which increased to let's go here uh, which increased to 70k the 70k you transferred uh, to uh, another house and you spend uh, 30k into that and your 40k remained in the house so in that house now you have a loan of uh, uh, 80k which was the original loan and you also have a personal loan uh, of uh, uh, 30k and uh, and in this house you have a loan of 120k and your total uh, house uh, asset is 150k in this case and 150k in this case so if you add this up your uh, total asset is now 300k and uh, your total equity is again 70k 
and your total loan is 230k so you you went from here to here but still if you do the balance um, uh, in a balance sheet then you can see that your equity is same uh, but you gain, get more loan to increase your assets so that you can take advantage of further increase in the market price so now again if there is a 10 percent gain uh, then you're gonna make a lot of gains on this 300k not on just 70k uh, one of the pitfall here is that instead of increasing the price the price can also decrease so suppose now at this stage uh, the home value decreases uh, by 10 percent so if it decreases by 10 percent so it decreases uh, by 10 percent so in that case uh, it just will become 270k and uh, uh, suppose uh, your loan is still same so it's 230k so in that case your equity will decrease uh, by uh, a lot and now it will be only if you do the balance it's only 40k so you lose much more of your equity uh, as compared to uh, what the market loss was for your assets so same way if you would have gained 10 percent then your gain would be much higher so in a way by taking a loan you are uh, leveraging your uh, ability to gain or lose the uh, money based on the market uh, but uh, if you are not concerned about the uh, small time fluctuation in the house price and suppose you are having a rental income then you can always uh, consider it as a long-term investment and eventually uh, by the law of finance or law of uh, economics everything has to increase or appreciate in price with time uh, although it may not happen in five years or six years but it will happen eventually because uh, the population of the world is always growing the development is always happening in the world so uh, so prices will always increase uh, unless uh, there is some uh, uh, problem with your city or the city is going bankrupt or something else but unless uh, that is not the case then that should always uh, have appreciation in the long term and and therefore you can always uh, based on your equity you can always do serial buying of houses and you can uh, further build your assets and uh, uh, get maximum out of the increase in the housing price so i hope this tutorial helped uh, i'll see you again thanks